Hello, my name is Jonathan Biddle and I'm the design director at Curve and I'm working on a game called White Space. So what we thought we'd do is put together this uh, kind of casual development diary showing what the game's about and discussing some of the features. So the game casts you as a bounty hunter and you're flying around the, uh, the universe effectively, dropping down onto the surfaces of various planets in order to complete your mission. Every planet surface is procedurally generated. Uh, there's various ways in which these are made unique. Just by um, changing some of the colorations of the various landscape, it makes you feel like you're visiting different places. So just by tweaking things like the fog color and the color of the sky and the color of the landscape, you get a lot of different variations. And part of what we're going to be doing is, is changing those, uh, making things feel more like an alien planet, but also combining it with the, the weather systems. Just by changing some of the, uh, the fog, the ambient lighting, the sun strength, and different kind of weather effects like lightning and rain, we're hoping to create a very diverse set of environments. So when I originally thought about this concept, what really concerned me was doing the terrain. I wasn't really sure how I was going to do it. So um, uh, I had to cheat in the end. And what I did is I created a grid-based tile system. What you can see in front of you is uh, a series of 3D tiles. There are slopes, planes, corners, everything is in, built in an interlocking system with a very simple algorithm that decides what can go next to what. And I think the fact that we've got this limitation has created something that's got quite a unique look. So as you're flying around, you can look down at any point and see your mission map. There's not a lot on the mission map at the moment, but it does show your representation of the terrain algorithm. You can see all the base tiles. This is the same thing that is used for the terrain, but just using non-arc tiles. It's a very simplified version of what is actually in front. Whereas when you look up, you see the geometry, and this is a more art-intensive version. So what we've been focusing on in development at the moment is the combat, and we're trying to get the, the systems in place to make sure that everything feels really satisfying, and we've got a good foundation for which to build some of the more complicated systems. I'm trying to get the game to be played at low level for various reasons. It, the game looks better and it feels better. As you're flying around, uh, all of the, the terrain that you have to navigate and the enemies have to navigate, it creates obstacles and makes everything much more dynamic. As you see, we're flying, uh, trying to attack this guy here with these homing missiles. But as you fly around after him, the terrain means that he's ducking and weaving and you have to kind of change your, your aiming all the time. Parts of the environment will get in the way, so you have to re-strategize. So the combat's still quite early really, but it's already very, very satisfying to fly around the, the landscape, sneak up on things. So hopefully what we want to do now uh, for the next stage of development is start to introduce more of, a, more of the systems that will make the game more complicated, more, more enjoyable to play. Uh, once we have this kind of grounding of fun combat, then we can really start to push the game in interesting directions. So what is white space actually about? What do you do? Well, the goal really is to take out your target as a bounty hunter. You enter into a system and there are a number of planets there. You go to the bounty hunter headquarters in each system and they'll be handing out missions. When you pick up a bounty, you can find a planet. You see if your craft is capable of tackling that atmosphere. And then you're sent down and you're basically sent down to be a detective to find that target and take them out. So as you arrive, the map is all hidden away from you and you can't see anything. So you have to seek out information and follow the trail of your bounty. So a lot of it will be uh, actually exploring the environment, that you'll come across pockets of resistance in between the areas of exploration, um, so that you have this rhythm where you, you can go and you can clear an area out, but then you're free to kind of look around and try and track down your, your prey. So the game really is in early development. I started it about 18 months ago. But, uh, this was just me working in my spare time and then we then took 12 months off so that we could make stuff in two. But now we've been back on it for about a month. It's just the two of us working on it at the moment and we've been really focusing right now on um, just getting the core systems up and running. So that's all we've got for this development diary but I hope to bring you another one soon as development progresses. This is a new kind of thing for us to do this open development so hopefully it's been quite illuminating. The game is still quite early so there's still lots of missing features. but. Uh, but I hope that you found it interesting. If you want to keep up with development, then follow me at One Bit Beyond, or follow the main Curve account on Twitter at the following address.